And we're back! Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee are Double Dragon from Marvel Comics. In Double Jeopardy, they learn the secret of the Dragon Force from the Sensei. Available at newsstands everywhere. It's Double Dragon from Marvel. Now we're not reading that. On the return of Crypto Comics. Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown. Let's get right into it. What are we talking about today? What are we talking about for the next month? We're talking about comics, greatest world. Now, this is a Dark Horse imprint, originally conceived in 1990, and probably best known for the characters X, Ghost, and Barb Wire from the Pamela Anderson movie. Remember that one? So Dark Horse released one of these a week for 16 weeks, and they only charged a buck a piece, which is a pretty good deal, but it's not a full comic book. They're all like 15 pages long. Some of them are, are good. Some of them are kind of a miss, but we're gonna go through them all right here on the new season of Crypto Comics. This unique superhero imprint takes place in four different fictional cities throughout the comics greatest world universe. And when the series ended, there were a few that stuck around. It all begins here in Arcadia, and then next week, we'll go to Golden City. After that, it's Still Harbor, and it all culminates in Cinnabar Flats. They debuted the character X in Dark Horse Comics Presents number eight, nine, and 10, which led up to the 16-week crossover saga, introducing all these new characters. Arcadia was a wealthy and affluent city, but uh, extremely corrupt, very decadent, it has an Art Deco architecture, setting it apart from Golden City, which was a seemingly utopian city ruled by superheroes, and then Still Harbor, which was a, like a Rust Belt city, kind of beyond the law, where there's different gangs filled with super-powered anti-heroes fighting for control. And then lastly, Cinnabar Flats, which is just sort of a desert town next to a top-secret military base. And... Uh, that's where uh, the plot really, really thickens. So we're gonna go through them all and uh, we'll see if they hold your attention. This one's gonna be good. We're gonna start here. Let's get these guys out of the way and get going here on an all new season of Crypto Comics. Obviously you got a cover by Frank Miller. They really exploited this. They did, you know, four variant versions, the black and white version, the hollow foil version, the chromium version, the the silver lace version, I don't know, whatever it was. So in each of these comics, throughout the 16 weeks, there's a prologue sequence, just a single page, that, you know, maybe maybe we go back at the end and, and read through them all, but I think, I think it'll keep our attention. I think it will. So uh, this is where it all begins. X, Comics Greatest World, from Arcadia. Uh, the prologue sequences are written by Mike Richardson, and this artwork is by Lee Weeks, whereas the main story is written by Jerry Prosser with pencils by Chris Warner and inks by the always talented Tim Bradstreet. 1931, a glowing object plunges into the Earth's atmosphere over the Atlantic Ocean. The object traverses the North American continent in a matter of seconds, and a journey that began countless light years away ends over a remote section of Nevada desert. An energy beam cuts deep into the landscape below the craft. The ship descends, sealing the earth above itself and disappears without a trace. Boom! X comes shooting out of the window. Now, Arcadia, a city friendly to business, profitable business, legal and otherwise. There's a way of doing business in Arcadia, a way that keeps the machinery running smoothly. The machine has run very smoothly until tonight. Senatorial candidate Larry Briggs discovered that the machine can break down with lethal results. A masked man showed Briggs just how delicate the machine really was. Now the masked man's leaving. Jeez, what a mess. He's got a line on him. Get some men downstairs. The masked figure's momentum carries him away from the building. Gravity holds him for a moment. Shoot him off! Before transferring all the energy back to the building. Crash! He's been in situations like this before. No problem. All the work's done in advance. Planning, 
the mark of a professional. It's only a matter of follow-through. His escape, the same as his entrance. What goes up must come down. Outside, other professionals arrive. You men move out down the side doors. Make sure he can't get out that way. Start the search, floor by floor. Rear, rear, rear. What? Jeez, just who I wanted to see. Who called these low lowlifes? Lousy SWAT division. Look who's acting tough. Commissioner Anderson's lapdogs. Hello, Galt. I was just wondering when I'd get the chance to see you again. Cut it, detective. How come you let him get away? He got past us. We think he's still in the building. We got all the exits covered. How'd he get in then? I don't know. Well, I mean, you're relieved here. I'm taking over the situation, as of now. I'm on it. It's my cage. Take it up with the commissioner. He wants this handled, personally. I don't know why you were assigned to security in the first place, Wellman, but don't worry about it. I'll clean up after you. Mess. Cordon off the area. Thompson, connect our personal communicators to the network. You had me? Yes, sir. You're coming in loud and clear. Yeah! Jorgensen Ward, get him now! And of course, X, you know, punches. There's no sound effect. Oh, cracks, the, cracks that face mask. No, no sound effects. No, I, need, I need some sound effects in this bad boy. I like the layout of the pages, though. This is fun. I don't think it's going to stop him. He's making a run for it! Fire! Brat, tat, tat, bam, bam, tat, tat, chang, chang, twing, vit. And then these dudes show up. They're kind of cool looking. Kind of. Slightly, slightly homoerotic way, I guess. He clears our sevenfold path by his grace. He gives us life by his divine word. Praise be to the septenarius, the divine seven in one. Transportation successful command, beginning to define search parameters based on orbital tracking. Seeker team one, out. What do you have, Brother Merrison? Faint radiation trail. Does it match the unholy signature of the fallen one? <laughs> this voice is a little much. <laughs> Let me keep, I gotta tone it down a bit. <laughs> Not exactly. Brother Paimon. It is very distinctive and very close. Activate screens. I'm gonna have to come up with a different voice for these guys, it's too silly. Jorgensen, Grant, get in position. On three, one, two, three. He's gone, sir. There's no sign of anything. So these guys turn translucent. I guess. A pink translucent. Command. Tracking anomalous radiation signature. Will continue reporting. Praise his holy name. Settle up. Call him more backup. I want this area searched for physical evidence. Buttoned up tight. Night precinct. Let me speak to Lieutenant Timothy. This is Detective John Wellman. It's urgent. Let me transfer you. Click. What's the matter, John? It's time to take the dogs out for a walk. Continue next week in Comics Greatest World, Pitbulls. Ah, oh, there it is, Pitbulls, looking totally uninspired in their matching blue suits. Who is this guy? And are we just going to let him do whatever he darn well pleases? Where are my tax dollars going anyway? To pay for the next policeman's ball or to keep the scum off the streets? Melissa Springer, letter to the editor, Daily Arcadian. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna win that comic's greatest contest. Uh, let's see, you know it's always something crappy for the third place. Uh, one ultra rare uncut sheet of comic's greatest world advanced preview trading cards. Uh, let's see, that was to uh, 950 people would get uncut trading cards. Um, 45 people uh, get a limited edition comic defense card binder. Embossed with the Dark Horse Comics Tops, Heroes Illustrated, and Comics Defense logos containing 
all four Comics Greatest World Advanced Previews trading cards in card snugs, and all 16 issues of Comics Greatest World in book snugs. A Hero Illustrated Baseball Cap. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good deal. That's probably worth, like, something, I would think. Maybe. In a weird way. I think in the future, these, these weird, limited things are going to be worth a lot of money. Kind of like last issues. I think last issues are going to someday be worth more money because there were so few of them printed because the series was coming to an end. I kind of feel that way about newsstand editions, too. If you, uh, if you notice, uh, some comic books uh, with newsstand, uh, you know, UPCs on them from the 90s uh, are worth slightly more than the direct edition because there were less printed, probably. Uh, and because they were harder to keep in good condition. You know, most fans bought from a comic shop, whereas picking it up at the newsstand and then protecting it, so you get that 9.8 CGC grade, uh, yeah, I think there's something there. You know, you heard it here first, Crypto Comics. Anyway, uh, grand prize winner, uh, five lucky first place winners, five. That's nice. One foil stamped collected edition of the Comics Greatest World miniseries, and a Hero Illustrated T-shirt. So, that's what, we, that's what we got. It's X from Comics Greatest World, Dark Horse Comics. It was only a dollar. This was week one of 16. And we're gonna get into them all right here on the new season of Crypto Comics. And, and guess what? I've been buying more comics and more comics and more comics and more comics. And I think I got, honestly, I think I got almost three long boxes of comics to go through. Because I kind of forgot that I bought all these series, like, up to issues 12, and I completed the X-Men 2099 series, and I got a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. I think you guys are going to be really happy with, what, with what's coming up here on Crypto Comics. And I'm glad to have all you Kryptonites here with me still. And I'm sorry that it took so long. It took a long time, you know. The, the, oppressive, uh, the oppressive governors of the Western states... Made us suffer, and now they're going to have more state of emergencies for droughts and what restrictions will come with those, but it's never in the big county, I guess. And it's just to make the little people suffer because uh, they hate us here. And enough of the political commentary. Um, your, your boy, Crypto Comics, should maybe be constitutionalist comics. So, anyway, I digress. X... Dark Horse Comics, Comics Greatest World. Coming up next, we're going to have Pitbulls. After that, we're going to have Ghost, which is super popular still to this day. And after that, uh, the conclusion of our week in Arcadia. Well, well, back then it was a month in Arcadia. But it's going to be our week here on Crypto Comics. Uh, monster. And, and this big pink monster, which, spoiler alert, he's not pink in the anterior pages. And I hate this drawing so much. So we're just gonna look at that one. I hate this one too, but... So we'll just look at these two, because these are the hot shots, along with Barb Wire, Pamela Anderson, you know. Barb Wire became hot because of Pam Anderson. And, but these are, I say these are the two standouts by far of this whole thing. And you're gonna get them here, right in the very beginning of Comics Greatest World, on Crypto Comics. <laughs> 